Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my uh, videos. Um, this will be one, two, three, four, five. This will be part five of my watch collection. And um, as you have might have seen before, if not, you can go back and watch them. I have talked to you about my Invicta Diver Pro Titanium watch. I have talked to you about my GSDUN. Um, uh, tungsten steel watch. I have talked to you about my um, my hexagon storm watch. I have talked to you about my Henshin something something watch. These two were from AliExpress. These two were from Amazon. And uh, <clears throat> my my next piece for today it's also from Amazon. And as as these two uh, is also a design piece. And here it is. I can't remember the name. It has been more than a year since I have it. Uh, it's a very nice watch. I, I like it. It's supposed to be stainless steel underneath and it's uh, it, it's been powder coated with this uh, black coating. The, the clasp is uh, interlocking. It's really hard. Oh, actually, oh yeah, butterfly. Okay, so it has this butterfly. But unlike these two, uh, you also have this little thing here that will uh, will lock it in place and it will keep it from opening on you when you don't want it. Uh, you can see a very nice skeleton here in the back. Uh, let me try to focus it to bring it in a little closer like that. Okay, so you can see the skeleton. Uh, also from the front, you have a semi-skeletonized uh, watch face. I really love the, the rope that goes around, giving it this uh, impression of uh, marine style. Okay, I, I've been holding it wrong. <laughs> um, the watch is really nice. It's, uh, it, it's gaining a couple of minutes a week, so it's not that accurate. Probably if I get it to a watchmaker and they, they, they might be able to to tune it a little better. But I'm not going to bother with that because I'm not wearing it very often. <clears throat> uh, the one thing that actually bothers me is that um, it's not that cheap. I, I paid around $100 for it. And um, it's... Uh, it, it's supposed to be automatic, it's supposed to be self-winding, but for some reason it's not, at least it's not starting from zero. From time to time, you have to, you have to manually wind it up, otherwise it, it won't start. So keep that in mind if you, if you find this and you buy it. You can also get it in stainless steel or in gold. There are different options for, for this particular watch in, uh, in Amazon. I have it for more than a year, about two years probably. Um, but like I said, there are a few shortcomings out of it. But all in all, I I really love the design. I love the the skeleton. I love that that you can see the workings inside the the um, the seconds hand. Uh, it, it it's chopping and it's nice. It, all in all, I, I, I really like the, the watch. So, you see, it goes like that. And uh, there's a little tourbillon action in there. You can see the, the counterbalance going right and left. And So, all this being said, uh, if you have any questions you might want to ask me, put them down in the description if you have any guidance for me if there's anything else you would like to see in my future videos or i don't know just like that uh, you want to say something to the world leave it down in the in the comments and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can as soon as i come back from the from the truck uh, remember to like share and subscribe to keep the internet alive and come see me on my next video Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.